Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to set up your Google credentials. This isn't going to be a full blown lesson with a new automation or anything, but working in the Google Cloud and getting these credentials set up is super important for pretty much all of our automations and honestly can be kind of annoying. I've gone through how to do it in some lessons in the past, but I figured a standalone video that anyone can reference at any point in their journey would help out a lot of people. Also, at the end, even if you've already gone through the automations before and set up your credentials, you probably have it on testing mode. And if so, you've also noticed that every seven days or so, you need to log back into your drive, into your Gmail to get stuff working. Well, I'm going to show you in this video how to quickly publish it, and that way you won't have to re-log into the system anymore. Testing's good when we're just getting started and doing some troubleshooting and stuff, but once you have an automation and AI agent you actually like, you're going to want to publish it just so you don't have to deal with that hassle. And I'll show you how to do it. It's going to take you like 30 seconds and you can see how to do it at the very end. Okay. So let's do this by connecting our Google drive and our Gmail accounts. And the way you're going to get here is just go to the plus button over here and search up Google drive and then Gmail. So this is assuming you haven't connected anything yet. And you'll notice the difference with some of the accounts based on how restricted Google considers the scope. So for example, to do Gmail and let's say I wanted to create a new account, right? new credential. I just have to sign into Google. They make it super easy. And the issue is though, some stuff like Google drive, right? If I try to do a new credential, you'll see, I have this redirect URL it requires client ID, client secret. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to show you step-by-step step. and the way we're going to do it is hit the open docs here. And as I've mentioned before, like the NNN docs are actually really, really good. So if you're confused with like, how do I log in? The video didn't do it. And you know, it didn't show me well enough. Just come in here and it'll show you step by step. And so to do it, we're going to have to go to the Google Cloud. And if you bring me to this page, you're going to hit console, top right. You're going to come up here at the top left. You're going to see this open up and you're going to hit new project. We'll just call this one ABCD123. You can call it whatever you want. You don't need to put a location. Um, no organization is fine. Hit create. Um, this over here, it's going to create your new project. And as it's creating it, just hit select project. You'll know you're on your project if it shows it up here in the top left. Next, we're going to hit the navigation menu on the left. Let's go to APIs and services, and then come down to OAuth consent screen. You should see this. We'll hit get started. App name, you can call it whatever you want. Call it like demo, demo. That's um, email, just some email you actually use. Hit next. We want external. Next, same emails before. Next, I agree. Continue, create. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to set up an OAuth client. So hit create OAuth client. Application type, we're going to do web application. And then you can skip the JavaScript. You can come down here to authorize redirect URI. Hit the plus button. And then this is where you're going to go back to N8N and you're going to copy this thing, this redirect URL. Go back to Google Cloud, paste it in, and then hit Create. Cool. Now we're going to click into here, and we're going to do, you're going to see your client ID here and your client secret. So take a note of where we find these because we're eventually going to go back into N8N and put those in there. All right, next, hit Audience on the left, and then for test users, go to Add Users and just put in that same email. Hit save. Next thing we have to do is actually like enable the APIs. So just come up to the search bar and search for Drive API. Google Drive API, hit enable. And then we're just going to do that for the APIs we actually want. So Google Drive, Gmail, Calendar, etc. So let's go through Gmail API. Enable. And then we'll do calendar API. And that should be most of them. The Google Drive API itself um, encompasses a lot of different um, APIs. So once you do that, go back to clients, click on web client one, and then you have your ID and your secret. So what do we need for NN? We need our ID, we need our secret. So let's copy the client ID. Put that in there. Secret, put that in there, and then hit sign in with Google. 
this should pop up, choose the account, hit continue, select all, continue, cool. You're now connected. Now when it comes to signing into like Gmail and stuff, you should be able to just hit sign in with Google right away. Now that's for testing mode. And this is good when you're just setting stuff up and like you're trying to like bug fix and all that. But once you have your um, like AI agent or automation where you want, we can actually go ahead and publish this. And it's super easy. We're just gonna go to audience. You can go to publish app and then you're gonna hit confirm. And that's it. So now that it's published, you won't have to go back every seven days into your automations and re-log into like Google Drive and all these things, which makes it easier when you're using them for real. Now, for whatever reason you want to go back to testing, you just come back to this page and hit back to testing, and it's as easy as that. So hopefully that clears up any questions you had about actually getting your Google account set up. I know it can be a little confusing, and honestly, Google Cloud is not the most intuitive, and I get why it could be somewhat intimidating. Um, but as always, check the docs. The docs at NIDN really are good. So. Um, yeah, hopefully this, this helps you out and we'll see you in the lessons.